Hi, my name is Michael and this is my first video on Cortex and I'm going to teach you how to port forward for Game Ranger, for GSG, uh, so you could play online with your friends and so you could have a proper screen resolution and uh, your game will run fast and you will enjoy it more and I know it's really hard to make other games work uh, with them being old in software. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to open Network and Sharing Center then you want to go to change adapter settings then you want to click on your uh, internet that is available to you and you right click uh, left click view status of this connection you go to wireless properties sorry details you find your IP right here IPv4 and uh, you place it you copy it into your browser you enter it your uh, sometimes your uh, router would ask you for a username and password enter admin admin okay so first thing that we want to take care of is we got to go to internet and we got to go to wireless we got to go to general we want to set it to channel 11 if we want to play worldwide with other people and have the best connection ever for like European nations and if you're in Canada or USA and you could just experiment with the different channels and try it out and see what's best. But auto is the best one for on the wireless tab. Okay, so we got game ratio set to UDP, 16,000. Yeah, yeah, basic, simple. Okay, we got the DMZ mode. Basically what this is, it opens up a bunch of ports that people could join to. And you have to redirect it to your IP address so you won't have your router doing Mac filtering, which is basically taking the home networking sharing space and rejecting all other uh, foreign IPs. Okay, so we got that down. And after you set up all this, you can then go to resets and reboot your router. Just make sure that the settings have been applied. Okay, after that's done, the biggest problem with the COSX games is, okay, first we are gonna right click, we're gonna go to properties, we're gonna go to file location, and we're gonna have to edit two of these files together. This one is responsible for single player, and I assume this one is responsible for multiplayer as a launch file. Okay, instead of deleting them or renaming them, I came up with a simple solution. Okay, so basically you should not run it as Windows XP Service Pack 3. That is wrong. You should run it as nothing, as default. And reduce color mode is for the reason of so you could play full screen and there will be that certain setting is only compatible with this full screen mode. If you have it on 16 bit, it won't be. So just keep that in mind. Always run it as administrator, and I'll show you do the same thing for this one right here. Reduce color mode. See, if you run it in Windows XP Service Pack 3, you will be only able to join games, but uh, it's, not a, it's not a variety platform for all users within old PCs, and the COSX base is just a little bit uh, below the good PC trend, I guess. So, a lot of people won't be able to join, it's really weird, I haven't figured out exactly why, but I went through 64 router combinations to realize all I needed to do is change the compatibility to get the game to work. This is very frustrating and I spent five days and now I'm here explaining to you how it works Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the proof because the proof matters Okay, uh, I have the steam version of COSX by the way that I bought for Five dollars and it doesn't work with Multiplayer at all so just don't waste your money and download the GOG version of COSX which is right over here, COSX Analogy version. I'm not going to put the link so just try to copy it down right now. Boom. Done. Okay, so I'm going to uh, camp and wait for someone to join the game and I'm going to show you how it works, how the connection is on the 11th channel and you'll see everything uh, I'll pause the time for now okay so we finally resumed and my friend here Tolik is gonna assist me in showing the example
Okay, so we're starting the game. And basically, if you have the compatibility mode set in the correct place, your friend will be able to join. It takes some time if you have a port restricted router. But um, let's wait and see. <clears throat> And um, in another tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install our design map. Okay. Desert. Okay, so and uh, Okay. And a little bonus for you guys. It works. How to play call it. I really don't want to play the game. Whoa, why is it fast speed? Must be the upper hand of us being together and from the same country and the internet connection being really fast. Probably, probably, probably. Okay, so we gotta raid, we gotta go quickly, we gotta go quickly. Um, hmm. I see a little difference actually, so I would go back and change the game range of port to both instead of just UDP. Hmm, just, just, just a quick thing to be concerned about. There isn't enough resources. Are you kidding me, yo? <clears throat> oh crap, yo, yo, yo. The game started playing fast mode. This is really weird. I, I, I never knew it'd be like this way. Oh my god, oh my god. This is weird. Major lag. Hmm. Maybe it's on his side. Okay, so go back to wireless. Oh, my mom's watching a show, right. Never mind, it's because my mom's streaming a show. Then it's so slow. Okay, all right, thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, that's all you need. Bye-bye.